What's up guys, it's Ryan again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now we're down here at the beautiful Jenny Springs in High Springs, Florida. And I brought some students down here this weekend to do some cavern diving and just some overall fun open water diving. But I've got the Orca Torch D570 and Orca Torch is going to be the sponsor of today's video. They actually sent us a slide and they want an in-depth review of it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, we're going to look at the features of it, then we're going to get it opened up, and then we're going to run over here and jump into the water and see just how well this light works. Now, the D570 is actually two lights in one. You're going to have a thousand loom white light, and you're also going to have a thousand meter laser light as well. Now, the runtime on this is about an hour and 51 minutes, so they're saying two solid hours of runtime. We're going to kind of put it to the test, see if we can make it last two hours. We may take it to a couple other dive sites just to see how long the battery will work. If you're not familiar with Jenny Springs, the ballroom area, it's a big open water environment, and then you've got the mouth of the cavern that you can go down in. So obviously, we're not going to need the light outside the cavern zone, and if we're not going to be spending two hours in there, we probably will take this light to other places as well just to test it. But it says it's got a 150 meter water resistance uh, depth rating. It's also got an eight inch beam angle on it. So it's not a very, very wide beam, if you will. It's more of a narrow beam. But it comes with one 18650 uh, ion battery in here. And it looks like, of course, it's a rechargeable, just like all the other Orca Torch batteries. Well, let's go ahead and get it opened up and see what all comes in the package. And then we'll go jump in the water. So it looks like we got the light itself. Uh, it is a compact design, which I personally like. Uh, whether you're going to wear this on your wrist or you're just going to carry it in your hand, you could mount this to a cave helmet or something like that. Uh, it looks like there's only a one button operation, so I'm going to assume you can scroll through or press and hold to go over between the white light and the laser light itself. And it also appears that it's got an indicator switch or an indicator light on the button, so it's going to let you know if it's on. Uh, maybe if you're not looking at it or something, if you just got it standing up, you can tell whether it's on. Looks like they sent two batteries. Now, I really do like this. I love the fact that you can always have a battery on charge. So you got one in the light, one on charge. You finish your first dive, throw your next battery in. And maybe that's where they're getting about the two hour runtime. I'm not sure one battery would last two hours, but we'll put it to the test and see. And then of course you've got a lanyard. Um, if I end up using this light, I would probably put some type of bolt snap on it, but a lanyard's gonna be work great, especially if you're an open water diver. And it also looks like you've got a USB charger here and some spare O-rings. So we got the spare O-rings, we got the USB charger. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is great if you got a USB plug-in, maybe a computer or something like that, but I kinda wish they'd put a wall plug-in with it. I think it tends to charge them a little bit better off that 120, but let's get this thing put together and let's go jump in the water. Guys, before we jump directly into the review here, I want to talk a little bit about why we come to the freshwater springs in Florida. Not only are they crystal clear, but the ecology here is just so amazing. And if you're into ecology like I am, you'll absolutely love these places. Uh, what The first thing that I'm going to do with this light is I'm going to test out the little green laser pointer that comes on it, which is pretty cool feature. Um, and I'll talk about later on in the video what or who I think this light would actually work best for. But I'm actually going to use this green laser light there. You can kind of see it on the screen to point out a fresh water flounder to uh, one of my new divers here. And this is a great little feature. If you're pointing out something underwater, you can use a little green laser point. Uh, even in, in crystal clear water, even in daytime use, that, that laser light's really going to reach out there. Now I'm probably a few, four or five feet away from it, and you can see it's still very bright. And I was able to point out using that laser corner as well but we're going to go ahead and briefly switch over into the cavern zone of Jenny Springs and what everybody calls the ballroom and one reason we like coming down here it's a great place to train new cavern students and to transition them up into that cave environment uh, but another great thing about it is this is a safe environment and this is one of the uh, rare caverns in the world if you will that is open to open water divers as well no I didn't say open water students but open water divers this is kind of wor a world-renowned place I call it a transitional cavern cavern because this is a great place if someone's a little skittish of say overhead environment training and things like that it's a good safe environment and under the direct supervision of a cavern instructor or even a cave instructor in that sense 
um, you can safely uh, penetrate down into the cavern zone of this place. So great, beautiful place and a good place to come and test out these lights because you've got the ambient light from the surface, crystal clear water. You can test a light and you can use it down in the dark zone of the cavern as well. Um, and it gives you a, a good way to test the light. Now, as you can see, as I'm headed into the cavern, I've already got this Orca torch turned on and it is a uh, very narrow beam. Um, it's not really a flood beam, which I tend to like in overhead environments. Um, it's more of a spot beam, so I can reach out with it, but I can't really cover uh, a big wide area. And here's a great example of that. You'll see that very narrow eight degree beam and the light that we're using to actually film here is actually giving us more light than what the Orca Torch is. Um, and yes, it's more powerful, but it's a much wider beam. It's more of a spot beam. But the Orca Torch is actually holding its own. It's doing exactly what it was designed to. It's, it's reaching out and touching something. Um, one of the cool features about it is how you turn it on. This is not a twist hand design. It's just a little push button design. And one thing I didn't talk about with the laser pointer is basically you just press and hold for the laser pointer. You kind of double click it and the light will come on. Then you can double click it and the light will go back off. But it's a very simple design. It's a great light. Um, I'm going to talk here at the end of the video a little bit about using it in clear water versus turbid water as well. All right, guys, so that's the Orca Torch D570 light. It's basically a dual beam light, so you got a thousand looms, plus you got the little spot or the laser beam coming through there. What do I think about this light? Well, you guys know that I love a thousand lumens. I think it's perfectly great for us diving in turbid waters in our lake and our quarries and things like that. And we use thousand loom lights all the time for primary lights because of the high turbidity count. However, down here in the crystal clear waters of Jenny Springs or any, any place that you're going to have really good clear visibility, I don't think a thousand looms is going to be the best bet, especially in an overhead environment. Um, but it would be a great backup light. So this would be a perfect little backup light. It's small. You can throw it on a helmet. You can throw it in your pouch, whatever. And it's going to be good. The accessories and stuff that come with it are great. Obviously, we don't typically use these lanyards, but it's cool that they send it. The battery did come fully charged, which I was impressed. I didn't have to charge it. And I love the fact that they sent two batteries in the package as well. That way you can always have one battery uh, charged up and while you're using the other one. The USB charger on it, uh, I think it needs to be a wall charger, but hey, USB is gonna work great. You can plug it to your laptop or something like that and charge it. One thing I do wanna praise this light about and what I think it would be best used for is open water scuba instructors. That little green laser beam that's on it that was absolutely perfect for pointing out wildlife underwater. I was able to throw that laser beam on there, point out turtles and flounders and all different types of fish while we were out on the dive. Um, but outside of that, I think it would be a better backup light if you're doing overhead environment dives or really crystal clear night diving. Would be great in turbid water. But yeah, it's the Orca Torch D570. Let me know down below what you think about this light. Do you think it's gonna be a great primary light for you based off of your geographical location? Or would you rather have it as a backup light? But guys, we are going to take a vote here at the shop. We got Christmas coming around the corner and we are either gonna give this light away to one of our staff members or we're gonna do another contest here on YouTube to give you guys a chance to win this light as well. So let me know down below, should I give it to one of my staff members or let you guys kind of do a contest for it but if you like this video give me a big thumbs up definitely share it. i want to give a huge shout out to orca torch for sponsoring this video and sending us this light as well but as always guys make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business